Hi, it's Steve from Parts Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the inner door glass on your range and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a small flat blade screwdriver and either a number two square head screwdriver or a number two Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, it's easier to remove the complete door from the range. Now in this model there are two locking devices on one on each hinge. And if we take our flat blade screwdriver and just go into the slot on that locking device and lower it down. And then just take note of how far that hinge fits into the rectangular opening on the face of the oven. We're going to close that door until it comes up to a stop. And then we'll lift the whole door and hinges completely out of the range. We may need to just do a little bit on each side first. And then we'll set that door on a suitable work surface where we can do the repair. Now we find the easiest way to do this repair is to do a complete tear down of the door. That way we're able to clean up any of these stains that are on the outer door glass and on the trim. So we'll begin by removing this bottom trim piece five screws that secure that. There are two on either end that are shorter than all the rest of the screws so we want to make sure that we keep those separate. And there's one in the center. And then we can slide that trim piece off and we can set that aside for cleaning. Next we're just going to lift up gently on the back of that outer door glass and pull it away from the channel at the top. If you find it's a little snug, flip the door over while holding that glass to the door and then just loosen the uppermost screws that secure the top trim piece on. Once we've removed this glass, we can again set that aside so that we can clean that. Now next we can remove the side trim pieces. We we'll just have a little locating pin at the very bottom so we just pivot that out and then slide it away from the top. And we can set those aside for cleaning. Well, next we will remove two more screws on either side that secure the hinge to the inner door panel. Now very carefully we're going to hold this assembly together and then we're going to lay it face down. Now those can stay on and we can leave the trim piece in place. Next we're going to remove the two lower screws that hold that hinge assembly in place. And these are a machine screw. They're different from the other screws on here which are self-tapping. These actually have a machined thread. We need to make sure that those go in the lower holes that hold that hinge to the inner door panel. They also have a thin plastic washer on there so that when we tighten them we don't damage the portion of the inner door panel. And we can next remove two upper screws, about five or six inches from the top. And these are a self-tapping screw. Now with all the screws removed, the glass is kind of free floating in here so we have to be careful when we turn this over. Just lift up gently on it. And hold the assembly together. And we're going to just tilt it right over. And again, use caution that we hold it all together. Lay it face down. Now we can lift that inner door panel completely out of there, but I find it easier if we just lift up on this channel. We'll just remove those hinges, set those aside. Again, that will allow us a little better access for cleaning. And then we can remove the shroud that holds that 
inner door glass in place. And you'll probably want to clean that as well because there will be some cooking debris that has managed to find its way in there. So we'll set that aside for cleaning. Take note of the orientation of it. Two dimples that are closer to the top sit right underneath the trim piece. Now if your door glass was still in one piece, you simply just need to lift that out and we can discard it. At that point, that will allow us to clean that inner surface of any cooking debris. Now you can either lay the glass in first and just center it over that opening or you can put the trim piece in first. Now there's not. With the glass in position and our trim piece cleaned up, we're going to slide it underneath those covers for the hinges. We'll clear that back tab and then line it up so that the six tabs fit around the door glass and it will center itself up once we line up the hinge screws that come through these four holes in that trim piece. So next we can actually put the hinges back in position. And that will allow us to hold that whole assembly together while we turn it over. Next we're going to install the lower hinge screws. And to do this, we need to put one hand in underneath and we just move that metal retainer panel so that we line up the screw hole opening. Make sure that the hinge is pulled all the way down to the bottom. And once we have it lined up, we we'll just insert that screw and just enough to hold it in position. Again, okay, make sure that we use the machine screws for the bottom of the hinge. Do the same on the opposite side and then the two upper screws that hold that door glass retainer. And once we have all four screws in position, we can then tighten them. Just make sure that we don't over tighten and fracture that porcelain. We'll line up those hinge covers so that they sit directly over top of the hinge. Now our side trim pieces will go in next. Just make sure that the beveled end goes in underneath the top first and that the short side lays face up. Rotate it in position so that the locator tab fits through that hole on the side. Do the same on the opposite side. And now we're ready to put the odor door glass on. Just lay it flat. And then we need to make sure that the upper edge fits in underneath the top trim piece. So just slide it into position. Make sure it's centered. And now we can put the bottom trim on. Now when installing the bottom trim, we'll need to make sure that these two little hooks actually fit over the outer door glass. And as well, there is a hole in either end that will fit over the little locating pins on the bottom of those side trim. So line up one of those first and rotate that trim into position. Make sure it engages on the opposite side. And then, all right, a dirty little prick. Now when installing the bottom trim, we want to make sure that we line up the little hole on either end with a pin on either of these side trim pieces. And as well, we need to engage that glass in those two slotted spots on the trim. And 
once we have it held in position, we'll just put that center screw in, and that was the longer of those screws. And then we can proceed to put the two screws on either end into the hinge cover. Now next, we're going to turn that door over one more time. And we'll tighten up those two screws that hold that top trim in place. And now we're ready to do our final cleaning on that door and put it back onto the range. Now to reinstall the door, we simply need to line up the hinges with the hinge openings and gently insert them, making sure that we have them in far enough. If they are, the door should come down completely vertical. Then we'll release those locking tabs, press them back into the opening, and our repair is complete. I told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.